Okay, Simple Jack is back. I'm gonna keep saying that until I start getting really bad comments. See, now he's put his atlas on the ground. Okay, fortunately, he did not put his octopus up where it hits too. That means that the atlas is what we need to kill. Okay, and I get this shot at it. And that's gonna be it. So, we have a two-star atlas here. Let's hope we get lucky. We did. Okay, I would have preferred to kill it, but that's okay. Now, we can't hit this with our octopus. It's out of range. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attack this linnet. And the reason that we're gonna do this is because if we can kill this linnet, I can hit his octopus with that lynx. I don't think we're gonna be able to kill the linnet with the grizzly, but we'll give it a try. I like to leave that grizzly built up. Uh, sometimes he'll bring his giant up in there. Oh, well there's a lucky break. And I'll take it. Okay. One, two, three. And now his atlas is dead. His single atlas, by the way, will, will sometimes take out two or three of my atlas. So, uh, it's really a good thing to get rid of that. Okay, now we want to get over where the action is as quick as we can. But the giant is not as important as the atlas. Get our indirects up there. Get our bison up there. And another lynx, because as you can see, the lynx is really good to have up there. Okay, and now we'll pull these guys out. There's really uh, uh, not a lot to worry about here. Put your power up front. In the upper level of this game, you'll also take this factory with a panther. And I leave it sit right there until almost the end of the game. Because he'll come in and capture that factory. Okay. He doesn't have his atlas out, so there's no reason to send the sacrificial Charlie, so I'm going to go ahead and give him his turn now. Okay, Simple Jack is back, and this is his new factory. He's gotten an atlas and put it in there, two big tanks, and two other indirects. He'll probably send most of that down this way. Okay, uh, we're getting to where I'm going to just uh, uh, quit showing you everything until the very end. I just get to pick my targets now. I want to take out indirects first, and I don't want to be aggressive with him up in this area. Okay? And I want to build up the stars on my indirects. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit this tank. I don't really care if I kill the slagger or not. I want to be sure to hurt it, though. Oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use this on the rabbit. I'm hurting him a little bit here uh, because uh, I want him to go back into the factory while I get more stars for my parts. One way to play this game is to drop the atlas right now, right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. It hits all the way over to here. Um, uh, another way is to take it up a little further. Uh, for this game, I'm going to go ahead and take it up a little further. One, two, three. We'll hit this slagger. See, the lynx is working for us. The lynx will do better than the atlas did. Never mind, I told a lie. Uh, the game is very upset. When he, when he does things like that, that's how I express it. He's, uh, he's upset. You have to get these guys up because... We're headed for a battle up north later. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and refresh that tank while I've got the time and start moving par pieces north for the pieces he will send over. He won't be able to make it through here even if he brings his giant in, so that's not a problem. I'm going to go ahead and move this over. You see he's bringing those bison over south. I'm going to bring the giant out to stop any of that. If you can get a giant on 20%, um, nothing can kill it, uh, except if it gets around it. Okay, I'm going to give him his turn. Okay, 
I'm not going to say Simple Jack is back. Uh, we're at turn 13. I still got 20 pieces. He's got 17. I've been whittling away at his giant. Um, he uh, brought this octopus up from the rear. One, two, three, four, five. He can now hit my big octopus with his Hadrian, and I don't have anything that can hit it back. So that's not a good situation. I need to get rid of this octopus because it can hit all of my stuff. I'll hit it with my now full star atlas. Very bad news cannon now. Okay, I took that out. Now, um, I need to keep getting rid of his giant. Uh, because it stops me from being able to go through the pass. I just have to do it slowly. Ah, two. That's most excellent. Unfortunately, I can't hit him with this. But I can hit him with the Lynx, which, as I keep saying, is going to be really important. I'm not sure I want to do that. I think I'm going to use this. Because I'm not going to get to use my other octopus. I'm going to have to move it this turn. And I'll use my Lynx down on that mule. Okay, the giant's gone. Now that opens that back up. All right. And I can't hit my Lynx because my Polar's in the way. But he doesn't really have anything that can get to me. I'm going to go ahead and move this. And temporarily move this. And then I'm going to come in here and hit this mule with this full star Lynx. I may even kill it. Take it completely off the screen. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now I'll get the Lynx back out of the way. That trigger is blocking him. He, he can't bring anything in here and hit my indirects. Okay, and now I've got the Polar underneath his Hadrian, but I'm sitting on 20%. He might take one. That's okay with me. Uh, while I'm messing around here, I've been moving the Grizzly and the other pieces up north because he keeps taking his Slagger and Titan up there, but I believe now they'll come down into here. Because he's gotten very weak. He's down to 14 pieces now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move my giant down here once more. Because he keeps bringing his bison across. I'm going to hit his Charlie again. Which will probably finish him off. And now I don't have to worry about losing that southwest factory. Okay, and now... I'm going to go ahead and bring this guy up because the panther forward because he doesn't have anything that can hit him. Uh, so he's safe. And I'm also going to send this lynx up here to pop this chuckles. See if we can't leave a mark. That wasn't uh, quite as much as I expected, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to leave the bison down here. The truth is, I'd rather have him bring these tanks south where they're under my indirects. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give him his turn. I'll see you at the very end of the game. Okay, uh, we're up at turn 21. I've still got 20 guys. He's got three, one of which is a trigger, one of which is an atlas. See, he's blocking me from getting over here to capture his factory. Uh, but that's not the way we're going to play this. We're going to go ahead and hit this. That atlas he put down up above has been kind of a problem. Only because I don't like losing men. Okay, his titan is dead now. Now we've got to deal with the atlas. The, since the atlas has a range of six, the bisons won't make it in one move. Okay, but these are both decent bisons. Uh, I'm going to send them down here. But I'm going to leave a spot for my 5-star Lynx to come down here and hit this Atlas on 5%. That'll knock it down quite a bit. Then he'll get one shot with uh, his Atlas, which he'll take on uh, one of my Bisons. And uh, then I'll kill his Atlas and the game will be over. And let's see how he does. He's been pretty tough in this Borman. Uh, Took some guys up north. I had those tanks up there, remember, and I dealt with it. Yeah, that Atlas hitting very hard. His turn's over now. And now we come in with our uh, weakest tank first. 
and then bring our strong tank in from directly across, get premium zock, we're going to cut the atlas in half from 110 to 55 defense. Plus we pick up our bison's attack power and voila! Military Mantlis, Borman, map 13, we just won. Your forces have crushed the enemy. You now control the area. Free your prisoners and prepare for the next battle. Okay, and let's look at the stats here. I had 231 kills. He had 20 kills. And it took us 22 turns. And that's it for today. This is Simple Jack saying, yes, I am simple.